Hi, welcome to Grand Street Latin American YouTube channel. My name is Fernando, and today I am going to show you how you can use the map feature under the Gmail Cloud. One key difference that we have is that you could use two map components. One is the OpenStreetMap that we we'll only show you in standard build maps. And then I will show you how you could get your Google Maps API key so you can use Google Maps under the GWM Cloud and see the satellite image. So you can geolocate your device by the public IP and also place your device on a specific location that you would want to. So let's check this out. First of all, we'll need to sign in in our GWM Cloud account. Then we can go to the map section. You can see the devices. Go to unplaced devices. You can see there's one device here. And then if we click here on place and map and then press the OK button. Now the device has been placed. So we'll need to go over place devices. And then we click right here geolocates the device. This is right now where the router is located. If we can remove it from the map too and then it has been going to unplaced then we click on this icon and we can place this router on a specific location. So now let's see it has been placed in a specific location. Now we have to remove it from the map so we can check this further. Now, if we go to Organizations, Overview. Now, Location Overview. If we go to the Map Component, you see we are using OpenStreetMap. Now, that if we want to use Google Map, we need to get an API key. So, we have a link right here, which I'm going to open an incognito window sign in right so we have a quick start how to get started on this this could help you to understand the beginning of it and now we'll need to go to the project alert page so we enter our email address let's type it here right put at then we enter the password our password and you see right here we are on the projects overview so in case you don't have a project you'll have to create a project right here but I have this one that I have already created so I select it then I'm inside the project right now so now I need to go to APIs and services and go to library because the libraries will need to enable some modules on the maps APIs. So the first that I'm going to enable is the geocoding API. That's the first one. So I just enabled. And now it will ask me for my confirmation for the account information, terms of service that I need to accept to continue. And the second stage of this is to enter my credit card credentials. So I put my business names on it. In this case, I'm using Grandstream. So now I could add debit card so I could start the free trial that Google offers for beginners on this one. Right. So just making sure this is the page that you enter that. Now that I have already Geocoding API enabled, I also need to enable two more. One is Maps, JavaScript API, so I enable it. Right, I have it enabled now. And then I need to go back, and there's one more to enable, which is Places API. I have this one enabled already, it's just here. So I click here on APIs and Services again, and then I go to Credentials. You see, I have no APIs keys right here. So I need to create the credentials as an API key. Now that we have the API key created, we can see it over here and I just need to copy it. 
Right, so once I copy it, then I could paste it right here on my GWN Cloud account and then I click on save. It will reload automatically the map that I have. And now we could see the location, we could see that now the interface has been changed. I could use the satellite map too, so I could zoom out, zoom in. Right, and then if I go to the map section, I can also go to the devices the unplaced devices click on our device and place on the map I just click on OK then I can go to the place it devices and click for search on device go over there also I could sum out you can see I could remove it from the map so I could just place it on a specific location that I want, click it right here, we can see it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video has helped you out and hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye!